this is the notebook of the sound is yeah we did it earlier the problem is in between sessions there's no we can do it over there as well but people are talking over there too the good thing with this the technology on this camera is I've I've targeted the yeah, microphone bucket. right to you, so we'll bucket. buffer it afterwards. So yeah. if you wouldn't mind describing how yes. your role bucket. in the women in white. you started? Yeah, it's recording, but we can edit. Okay. So um, first of all, I think what we need to realize is the participation of women in general, uh, especially in elections. I think that is critical. If you look into the UN. Security Council Resolution 1325 because we talk about how women's rights are protected, um, how we can prevent, uh, the, for example, violence um, uh, on the body of the women, but also how we can see that they participate. So, in my country, Senegal, when I come from, we have experienced a lot of conflicts that emerge uh, through, you know, elections in Africa in general. I could say that sometimes we might say that election is democracy is the end of it. But you need to look at how now in Africa elections are part of the problem and not part of our solution. But it's part of democracy because democracy is what you say that is, uh, you know, participation of people is democracy, you know, is uh, protection of their right, um, uh, freedom of expression, all these are the rights that are part and parcel of democracy. Not just election, but election now are seen, I mean, are really re resulting in violent conflict. Because it's power sharing. Once we touch the power, people become greedy. And that's the thing, greedy, to, 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 you know, to, to, how do you say, to even impact negatively in the, in the country, economically, by bringing violent conflict. So what we did with the women's group in the case of Senegal, you must have seen Senegal at one stage was really going into uh, turbulence, as we say, there was two opposition, the one, the, the party in, uh, in power and the, all the opposition. So there was really such a negative force. But we women, we mobilized the majority of women, which are silent majority, because we don't hear them. You know, when crises erupt, they are the one that nobody hear. You know, their voices are not heard. They have an opinion, but they are not heard. Because they don't want also to be seen being partisan. So they just decide, and men sometimes are part of that process as well, silent majority. It's just few people in the two extremes that are in conflict. What we do is we fight, we mobilize that silent majority by starting women in white, by using peace caravan, going from rural um, areas to talk to the women in the rural areas, going to um, churches and so on, mobilizing. And I think that was very good in terms of mobilization because it came click in the mind of those that were fighting that the, the people are mobilizing and they don't want war. And our slogan and rally was that we want Senegal in peace and we want it in one peace. And I think that we were heard because at one stage, you know, all of them were coming to this rally you know, and on the TV, we use the media. So the, what I call the 3M factor is mobilization, and that is pressuring the, 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 the conflict parties. The second is uh, mediating, and as I explained, we do mediation, and women are good in mediation, and not just the mediation that we see at the table, but the, the, the traditional mediation of women going into the communities, into the village, talking about peace, but also bringing the women in the parties that are in conflict, that they can discuss. And this is something that we did. Women from all political parties to come together to say, we're not going to promote violence. You know, we will promote election, but not violence. And thirdly, 
was the monitoring aspect because you need to train women as women to have an eye in the election. So what we did was we said that for, for women to have this wear the length and look at election in the gender perspective is to bring them to do what? You bring the, the, the women as monitor. They go to observe election, are observers. People believe when women are observing election because they, they bring the credibility in the process. But you need to train them, give them the capacity, the skills, deploy them as troops. That's what we did in Senegal. We also train the media because media most of the time fuel the conflict and not bring the solution. And finally, we create something that we call the situation room, which was really there to monitor everything. All these three M, they were monitoring them through media, through um, um, IT system, cellular phone. We were reaching out to the village. You know, we were re receiving first-hand information on what was going on on the ground. And I think that the, the, uh, the acceptance of the result, you know, uh, was done because the women were mobilized. At the end, the, the, um, the, the president who was in power was the one who lost. It doesn't exist a lot in Africa that when you are in, in, in power and you are pretending to be re-elected, you lose the election. That's happened because women said, yeah, what we want is credible, transparent election. Let's see it and people go and vote through the ballot box, but not through the bullet. And I think that is what was make the whole uh, process in Senegal successful, and which was a good case we want to share in different parts of the world. That is possible that women mobilize, act, prevent, you know, and go into a process where they finally lead the process. Because I can tell you that the president who was elected the next day, his first visit was to the women's situation room to, to, to say, you know, you, you, you really put pressure on us. Um, I was also ready to march and so on, but you have um, sent us the message that you want Senegal first before any other thing. So that was the message that we wanted to share with our sisters. Thank this you. is just an example, so no more questions. Thank okay, you. thank you.